conditioning. I'm going to be showing you today how to properly get your dog conditioned to one. There's different reasons why I may need to use it. Of course, if your dog is aggressive and you take them to the vet around public, if you have a dog who does compete and needs to wear one, or please can on military dogs that are doing muzzle fighting. Regardless of what you're gonna be using it for, the muzzle can already add stress to the situation. So if we can get the dog properly introduced and understand how it works, it's gonna be really beneficial in the long run. So before we get started, here are a few things you will need for today. First off, muzzle. I've got mine here, it's a leather agitation muzzle. Of course, any muzzle that you guys are gonna be using with your dog is absolutely fine. A basket muzzle or soft shell muzzle that your vet might have works perfectly well. So we got the muzzle. Second, I like to do a lot of repetitions with this in the beginning and I like to mark the dog's behavior. For me, I'm gonna use treats to keep my dog motivated. So if you have a dog who's very driven and a lot wants to work, it's gonna be really easy. Uh, if you have a dog who's maybe not so motivated right now, um, you, know, you may wanna withhold a little bit of food before you guys get started, but definitely some type of motivation. Again, I'm using my treats here today, but it could also be praise if your dog would work for that. And then last, I like to, again, mark on that behavior. So I'm gonna be using a clicker. You guys, if you're used to you're using a, a marker word, like yes, it's absolutely fine as well, whatever you guys prefer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've got my dog, Ryan, here. I have already done this with him a few times, so he's gonna look a little clean today when he's doing this. For you guys at home, don't get discouraged, don't get frustrated if your dog's having a hard time learning this. There's gonna be another exercise after this one that can also help you guys out a lot. Now, I get different ways to start doing the conditioning. One of the things that's great about these agitation muzzles or some of those basket muzzles you might have is you can actually put the food inside the muzzle. So for example here, I've got some little bit of food I'm gonna put inside of here. If I tell a muzzle, you can take it and eat it out of there. Good boy. So that's one thing that you guys can start doing to get your dog uh, custom to it. It doesn't have to be for a minute at a time the dog's staying in the muzzle. It could just be a food in there, they put their muzzle in there, and mark on it. What I also like to do is condition the dog to a command. So for example, I'll show you real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to muzzle. Muzzle. Just like that. So he puts his muzzle in the muzzle and then mark on that behavior. You can do that. Again, you wanna do several repetitions. So again, muzzle. Boy, go ahead and do that again. Muzzle. Good boy. So when your dog is starting to offer that behavior uh, for you guys on command, marking on it is going to be really helpful. You can probably start moving on to the next step, which would be strapping the muzzle onto your dog. Um, obviously, this is open, and I would recommend doing that as well. Don't worry about buckling it down right now. You want the dog to, to be very relaxed. When I put this on, as you can see, he's not fighting it at all. He's just hanging out with me um, and, and doing this almost like a game. He, he puts it on and then he, he gets his paycheck. Muzzle. Good boy. Right, muzzle. Good boy. And you can know, notice he is in the command. I put him in a down position. You guys can put the dog in a sit or on place. Uh, a leash can also help you guys out if you're having a little bit of trouble. But again, easing, easing into this is going to be most important. So if you guys can get to this point in, in a few days, perfect. I'd rather you guys go uh, you know, very slow than, than try going from zero to 60 in one day. Muzzle. Boy. Muzzle. All right, so once you have your dog pretty comfortable in that muzzle, being able to put it on, take it off, mark that behavior, your dog's not trying to fight it a whole lot, probably time to move, move on to the second step, which is doing obedience in the muzzle. As can be really important, most dogs are not really clear-headed the first few times they're in that muzzle. They're trying to fight it and take it off. It's not gonna be clean, it's not gonna be easy the first time you do it, but Keep a leash on your dog. It's really important to make sure your dog's not going to be fighting a whole lot. And you're going to want to take that muzzle off once the dog is being relaxed. So I'm going to show you here. Uh, again, I got my dog here. He's already been used to having the muzzle on a few times. I'm going to have him put his put him on now. Muzzle. So I'm going to put it on him. He's 
got it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the leash on as well just to demonstrate to you guys as well. Takes the ear here, all right? So I've got the leash on and he's in the down position. I'm gonna go ahead and have him sit. Right, sit. You see when he goes from that down to the sit, he's not trying to fight it. Plots, good boy. And again, sit, good job. So if I had uh, a dog who was having a little bit of trouble, even with him in the beginning, I was actually having to pick up on this leash to prevent him from moving his head too much or trying to scratch at it. Now when the dog stops trying to take that muzzle off and is relaxed, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna use my clicker right now. I'm gonna loosen it up. Yes, good boy. And I can just release it like that and then give the dog food or give him praise or, or a tug. But again, in the beginning to build that behavior and to get as many repetitions as we can, I'm always gonna recommend food and then praise. <laughs> All right, so I hope this video was useful to those who need to get the dog conditioned to a muzzle. Of course, if there are questions you have, you can feel free to send me a message or even leave them in the comments below. Good boy.